What's up, everybody? Don't forget to subscribe to the World's TV YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of this great content moving forward. Jazz officials were not happy that Mitchell wanted out, viewed sending him to Cleveland rather than his home to New York as payback. You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Yo, hold on. If this report is true from Rick Buecher, Utah Jazz front office, Danny Ainge, is one of the most stupidest individuals in the world. Yes, this is payback. Instead of sending you to your hometown team that you wanted to play for, we're going to send you to a better team. A team that has multiple all-stars. A team that gives you a better chance of making the playoffs and eventually winning NBA championship than your hometown team in the Knicks where if you did went there, half the roster would have been stripped because we had to acquire the assets to get you. And you would have been playing with nobody. Cool, we would have sent you back to your hometown, but you would have been playing with absolutely nobody. Possibly, especially with all the trade rumors and requests and reports that we were getting that RJ Barrett was probably involved in the deal, Emmanuel Quickly, Obi Toppin, Julius Randle. He would have went to the Knicks if the trade had gone down. Donovan Mitchell would have been playing with nobody. So he would have been right back in the situation he was in Utah after post Rudy Gobert with the Knicks so how the hell is this payback sending him to Cleveland to play on a better team better talent and have a better chance of winning now yes Cleveland is not New York there's probably not much to do in Cleveland but basketball wise this makes the most sense it makes the most sense Cleveland right now with their roster is a top four team on paper in the Eastern Conference so how the hell is you sending a player that wanted out to a better team payback I'm pretty sure that he'll find something to do in Cleveland. I mean, the man is a freaking millionaire. I think Donovan Mitchell will be all right. But the fact that if this report is true, according to Rick Buecher, that, yeah, we're going to send you to Cleveland, Ohio as payback for wanting out of racist Utah. You've got to be shitting me right now. Really? Really? But yet they complain about players going into business for themselves they complain about players wanting out of teams but yet teams trade players every single day left and right for whatever reason they say it's bad business for players demanding trades after signing contract extensions cool but teams and organizations can trade players left and right after they sign them to contract extensions you see the hypocrisy and the double standard you see how that applies that's okay for organizations and general managers to do that but it is so bad and so wrong for the game of basketball for nba players to do that how dare you you are under contract you cannot be requesting a trade we're paying you tons of millions of dollars each year to perform for us you're getting paid billions and billions of dollars off my millions of dollars so how the hell does that make any sense how is that fair you are an owner of a team you are getting paid those billions of dollars off my millions of dollars. But yet you bitch moan complain when I went out because I don't see or I'm not happy in a particular situation that you are overseeing. Really? This makes no sense. It makes I, I, I'm starting to think that this report was just put out there to just piss off Knicks fans even more. I mean, come on now. And start, and if you look at it, some of the trade packages, I mean, the Knicks offered, I think, like, R.J. Barrett, Emmanuel Quickly, and three first-round draft picks. And I think, like, Obi Toppin was involved in the trade, too. If you, if Danny Age, he actually saved the Knicks from doing such an atrocious deal, that would have completely depleted their roster. You're giving up two future possible all-star players, two very young, talented pieces of the Knicks. To get back Donovan Mitchell, who is he going to play with? Julius Randle, he's been up and down his whole year, all of last year, okay? The Knicks are probably looking to move him. Who else are you going to have on that roster? You just signed Jalen Brunswick. I don't think he's worth that type of money, but the market seems differently. Who else is he going to play with? Mitchell Robinson? Cool, he beefed up in the summer. He got a little bit strong, got a little bigger. He's not an offensive threat. He's not going to put 
um butts in the seats of msg how like what other players do the knicks have on that roster that donovan mitchell looked at besides rj and emmanuel quickly said yeah i want to play with them and julius randall now julius randall can get back to the randall he was two years ago when he made the all-star team cool now you have a little something you're not a championship contending team but you're a playoff team you can make some noise but right now the knicks don't have anything Knicks, they ain't going nowhere. They'll, they'll probably make the playoffs this year. Maybe like a 7th, 8th seed. But they're a first-round exit. So the fact that they saw sending Donovan Mitchell to Cleveland as payback for him wanting out, especially after you traded Rudy Gobert and pretty much saying, we're going to go into rebuild mode, was payback? We're going to send you to Cleveland, Ohio? Thank you. If I'm saying Utah, thank you for this payback. Thank you that now I get to play with potential three all-stars. I get to play in another. I get to play with another all-star backcourt in Darius Garland. I get to play with a young front court in Evan Mobley, who should have been rookie of the year last year. Jared Allen, who was an all-star last year. You got Kevin Love coming off the bench, who's a multiple-time all-star and a former champion. You got Karis LeVert, when he's right, can score 20 in his sleep. And you got Ricky Rubio coming off the bench with his veteran leadership. Thank you, Utah, for sending me to such a better team as my payback. Oh, my God. How will I ever sleep at night? This is so stupid. Man, get, give me a break with this. That, <laughs> we're going to send you to a better team in Cleveland, Ohio as payback. Really? Thank you, Utah. Thank you, Danny Age. Thank you for this payback. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this video. Did you do you really think that the Jazz sent Donovan Mitchell to Cleveland as payback for him wanting out of the Jazz? Let me know what you let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you agree, disagree with what I said? I'm open to all criticism. Follow us on Instagram at World TV, on Twitter World TV, and TikTok World TV on TikTok. Like, subscribe, share this video out to everybody. Subscribe to the channel. I will catch you guys later. Everybody, stay safe. Peace.